We're here at the finals of the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, where later we'll find out how quality science education today can lead to innovation tomorrow. And then we'll take a look at how the rise of mobile on the continent is bringing education to the palm of your hand. Now, while the rest of the world is deciding which smartphone to get, the situation in Africa looks a bit more like this. But it's not a problem for local innovators, they see it as an opportunity. Nairobi-based innovators in Niza took the concept of a feature phone, showing that you don't need a fancy phone to make education work for you. Two years ago, 25-year-old Kago Kagishiri and his friend launched a mobile educational service platform, Shupavu 291, a study tool for primary school students. Shupavu 291 is a mobile learning service. Um, it's a virtual tutor and a teacher's assistant on a very, very simple mobile phone. And what that means is students can take uh, content that's directly aligned to the curriculum um, on their mobile phones using just USSD uh, and SMS. With as little as 11 cents, a student can access not only revision material on mobile phones, but also remote assistance from teachers, all on an inexpensive phone. It only costs 10 shillings a week for unlimited usage. So students um, would just dial uh, star 291 hash, um, and they would follow a very simple registration process, after which we give them a menu where they can choose quizzes that are automatically suggested by the platform. A student can send um, math or algebra or verbs and can be very specific about what they want to study and the system will suggest uh, six or seven quizzes in that area and the students can um, take those quizzes. Since its inception, Shupavu 291 has seen a surge in the number of subscribers throughout the East African country. The revision study tool has also enabled teachers and parents to check reports on individual student performance and school performance via SMS. Even back when I was in school, we would, all you would know is you have 96% in math or you have 98% in English. But the way we've broken down the content on the platform is that everything is very, very, very topic specific. So students can know that their failure is in Algebra 1, in Class 8, and uh, not in fractions or uh, not in multiplication and subtraction. So um, I think that in itself has allowed students to uh, be able to capture the places where they have failures and now teachers can help students better when um, they access the reports um, and they know where, the, where exactly their students are failing. Eneza is targeting to spread their digital education technology to 50 million students in Africa. We're looking to move into Tanzania um, and Uganda and maybe probably Ghana. Um, but also we are, we are looking to um, increase the number of students we're servicing. Very soon we're moving into the secondary school space. Um, and we'd also like to go uh, to do much more early, early childhood learning so that um, we can use uh, digital platforms to allow students to receive exactly um, what they want to learn. <laughs> 